Hey guys, good morning, Master Al here. Wednesday morning, middle of the week, you guys. Get excited, again, every single day of your life, you should be happy. If you're up and alive and walking on your own two feet, you should be excited, guys, because guess what? There's a lot of people in the hospital that they wish and they will trade their place for your place right now, okay? So remember that, if you're healthy, it doesn't matter if you're overweight, you can always do something about that. It sucks when you're at the hospital, when you're at the doctor's office and not knowing what the f I'm not even gonna curse, I'm trying not to curse. I'm doing my best not to curse, you guys. So, it sucks when you go to the doctor trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with you. See, that sucks. So if you're out here and if you are driving your car or if you're still going to work and you're still doing everything that you've been wanting to do every single day, you should be happy. The fact that you're overweight, that's, uh, that's another issue that you should be actually taking care of. So again, from my book, remember this book that some people love and some people hate it? So I guess I did my job, right? So the title is, Your Fat Admitted. I think this is like rehab, you guys. If there is a problem, the first thing you have to do is admit that there is a problem, right? It's like, hello, my name is Al and I'm an alcoholic, even though I'm not, but you know, that's how you start. But, I, but by admitting that there is a problem. So in one of the chapters in this book, it tells you, and I'm gonna read to you guys right now, the top five reasons why it is your fault that you're fat or that you're out of shape. One of them is actually your diet is unhealthy. Most of us don't have an extreme healthy diet. Some people do, man, and I, I bow to those people, you know. Uh, I don't follow a, a strict diet, you know. I try to watch what I eat very careful at least five, six days a week. I do have my cheat days or my cheat meals. Uh, number two is you are overstressed, okay. Number three is you're not getting enough sleep. I think that happens to just about all of us, right? Number four, you spend a lot of time watching TV, all right. And number five, you hate to exercise, all right, guys? So all that stuff is right here in this book, you guys, all right? The thing is, a lot of people, and I'm actually going to go a little further here in the book and tell you a couple of things, you guys. Um, most people diets are unhealthy, and it's for the simple fact that they do not know how to cook healthy. Guys, I say it's right here in the book. You know, guys, spend 20 bucks, all right, get all this information. The reason why people don't know how to cook is because maybe they didn't learn, maybe they never had to, but if you're an adult, you know, if you're a grown up, all right, whether you're a male or a female, knowing how to cook is so important. If you don't know how to do that, invest in yourselves. Go to a place that will teach you how to cook delicious meals, all right guys, not that hard. And if that's still too hard for you, then guess what? There's something called Google or YouTube. YouTube this crap and you'll be able to know how to cook, all right, guys? So it is not that difficult. You have to make an effort, all right, guys? Number two, uh, overstress. Come on, we are all so overstressed. And you know what? It's because we want uh, we want more than what we need. If you really think about all the stuff that we have, and actually it's right here in the book, 50 to 75% of us have more stuff than we need. That goes with clothes, cars, credit cards, TVs, games, vacations, dinners, Hey, some people even have multiple partners talking about being overstressed. <laughs> All right, guys, please buy the book. It's a lot of good stuff in there. It was my first book. And I always say the following. I have tons and tons and tons of books. I continue my education every single day of my life. I don't go to sleep without learning something new. It's something that I, um, I started doing many years ago where I forced myself to go to sleep a little smarter than I woke up. Than I woke up all right? So guys, invest in yourselves. This was my first book. I'm in the process of writing another one. But just so you know, when someone writes a book, trust me, they are putting a lot of good stuff in that book. You know why? Because they don't want to look like idiots. They don't want to. They want to make sure they look like they do know what they're saying. And at the same time, we try to put our best material in our books because this is our reputation. So guys, Amazon, you're fat. Admit it. A lot of good stuff in there. If you hate curses don't buy it's a lot of curses in here you guys all right it's my real talk so somewhere in this book is something i call the rough it talk which stands for real talk and it's me talking to you as if you were one of my friends and telling you how how literally how the shit is all right so I'm not sugarcoating anything for you guys and that's the way it is some people hate that some people like to be lied to some people don't like to hit their harsh truth and reality of things and some people actually appreciate when someone tells them in their face or when somebody just tells them flat out if they fat, if that, if, if the, whatever they wearing doesn't look good, you know? So guess what guys, you know, this book is not for everyone, but if you're one of those people that can actually handle the truth, please buy. It will be the best 1995 you'll ever spend. All right guys, 
And don't forget, yesterday's topic was if you want something, you first got to do something. All right, guys? So if you want to lose weight, if you want to look better, if you want to be in shape, if you want to be healthier, because the main reason is healthier, don't worry about what you're going to look like. Just make sure you are healthier. So if you want that, invest in yourselves. Learn how to cook. Spend less time watching TV. Stop being so overstressed about stupid shit, you guys. Like I say, we have more stuff than what we need. We really don't need that much, as much shit as we have. And honestly, like I say, if learning how to cook is an issue, find it, guys. There's plenty of uh, places around town that they will teach you how to cook. And if that's not an option, if it's too pricey for you, then Google it. It is not that difficult. Or YouTube it better. Go and check out the videos. You know, there's tons and tons of people out there like me posting stuff constantly on YouTube, uh, trying to uh, give back to the community because that's what we do it. And that, that's it, guys. You know, it's not that difficult. If you really, truly want it, there is always a way to do it. All right, guys? All right. That's my advice for you guys for Wednesday. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.